Hi guys, this is a bargain store project of sorts. My plan is to use this solar butterfly rock light, or at least the circuitry in it, to try and make a lemon powered car. My theory is I can use the charging circuit in here that normally is run off the solar cell to run off a lemon and see if the lemon will provide enough power to charge the battery that's in there and then see if the battery has got enough power to run a small electric motor which is going to have to try and push the weight of a lemon. I normally tell people there's no way you're going to get a lemon to power a car but I was trying to think laterally as some people say, and think if there was any way I could get the power to work. So that's my theory. This is the cheapest solar um, powered light I could find. It was, I think it's about 95 pence or something. So I'm going to take it apart, take the bit of circuitry out, it, out of it, connect that bit of circuitry to a lemon battery and see if that will charge it up. Right, there's our parts, the on-off switch, the solar cell, and a little bit of circuitry with an LED and a battery on it. So what I want to do is replace the solar cell with a lemon battery and see if that's got enough power to charge up that battery. We may even have to replace that battery with something a bit bigger. And then discharge through a small electric motor. I've got a fairly small electric motor here. Uh, I think it comes out of a vibrating toothbrush. In fact, yes, it's, that's the bit outside of a... I can't remember what make it is, but yes, vibrating toothbrush. And if I put it across that little battery got enough power to turn it. So, time to connect it to a lemon and see if that will charge it. I suppose I ought to let this completely discharge first so I can be sure that it's been charged by the uh, lemon. Might be a good idea to set the lemon up. And just put it on the meter and see what we get out of it. So that's 0.87 of a volt. If we put that up to the volt scale. Yeah, 0 0.86, 0 0.87. Before I connect the lemon up, you'll see the LED is actually on, so there's enough charge has restored itself in that battery to bring the LED up. If I connect the wires up to the lemon, the LED goes out, that means there's current flowing in and the circuitry has turned the LED off. So that's a positive start anyway. I'll just connect the motor straight across the battery again. See if we can get... Yeah, there's a little bit of energy in there so we'll run it right down. Okay, so it's nine o'clock at night. I'll just leave that. I'll come back later on tonight, or maybe even tomorrow morning, 
and see if the LEDs come on, because if the LEDs come on that means it's stopped charging. In fact, no, I won't do that. I'll switch it off. Because that means it should um, carry on charging, but the LED won't come on. So all the power will be going into the battery and staying there. And then we'll try the motor out. And then we got to think can we gear that up enough to get it to move the weight of the lemon? It's about half past eleven now, so this has been on charge for two and a half hours on the lemon charging the battery. Let's just try the electric motor straight across the battery. I'm trying to put it somewhere where my hand isn't in the way. Okay, so we've got some motion. So does appear to be charging. Rather than spend time trying to make a car for this lemon to drive, I'm going to take apart this solar powered car that I made in one of my previous projects. So there's the solar panel. I'll take the bodywork off it to make it as light as possible take the solar panel off and just connect the lemon battery or at least the circuitry directly to the electric motor that's inside here. Right, all wired up, got my little bit of circuitry in there, lemon battery connected to the solar cell circuitry and then the solar cell circuitry battery is connected via this switch to the electric motor which drives this car. It's been on charge all night so that's from about midnight to it's now half past eight in the morning so it's had about eight hours of charge or eight hours to try and charge the battery so now the big switch on because it's not going to last for long if it lasts at all I would lift it up and just see if it can turn the wheels but I want to see if it works I want to see if it works straight away yes wow So, a lemon battery powered car. The lemon battery is not directly driving the electric motor. It's charging up that tiny little battery on there that's come out of a solar light. And then we're using that little battery to drive the motor. We're down in my kitchen got my red lines that are on the kitchen floor so we'll start from here and just see if we can get any distance because I've lost some of the charge because I've used it already haven't I That red line is two meters. That red line is three meters. Oh, so 
that's not bad. I think if I add the little bit that I did upstairs, we probably managed four metres. Summary time. What have we got? We've got a lemon, which we've put some copper rods and some zinc plated nails into to make a lemon battery. That feeds into this little circuit board that I've taken out of a solar light and all it's doing is charging up the little rechargeable battery that's on there and then I've wired directly from the rechargeable battery via that switch to that electric motor which comes out of a different solar novelty that's one of these um, fluttering butterfly motors it's well geared so that the small amount of power out of there goes to a big gear on the back axle and that drives the car. Uh, the car's a cheap toy from the bargain store that I've modified to run from solar power and I'll put a link to the video for that project but we've now modified it to run from a lemon. Now I left that charge in for over eight hours, probably eight and a half hours overnight to build up enough charge in the battery to do, what was that, about four metres we just went. Um, if I just lift up the back wheels and switch it on again, I doubt that it will even turn the wheels now. Oh yeah, well there you go, that's a few minutes of charge. But it doesn't go very far, so that gives you an idea. It's not the sort of thing you're going to win races with, I wouldn't have thought, but it, it is definitely being powered by the lemon, indirectly, in that it's storing the charge first. But it works, so I'm pleased with that. Job done.